Now let's get rid of Yahoo Finance Inez Foray over at the Wi-Fi Interactive. Inez. And Brian, a continuation of the sell-off that we saw last week. We are seeing the major averages lower, but I have the world map here so you can see that in other parts of the world also stock markets are in the red. You've got the London FTSE, the Frankfurt SAC, the, also the Hong Kong Hang Seng down more than 3.5%. The Chinese ADRs today are under pressure. Let's take a look at where we're at with the NASDAQ composite out of the major averages that's losing the most down more than 2% right now. I've got the 30-year Treasury that's uh, up right now at 3.24%. The 10-year is uh, at 3.12%. And the U.S. dollar index, not a lot of green, but the dollar index has been going higher. And this has been putting pressure on commodities. So we are seeing a WTI crude that's down more than 2.5%. Remember that you still have lockdowns in China. Gold futures are lower. Taking a look under the hood at where we're at with equities and the second action. We are seeing XLE. This is the best performer year to date, but today it is in the red. We are also looking at uh, technology stocks, which are in the red as well. And over on the NASDAQ 100, you can see Tesla uh, down 4%, NVIDIA down more than 3.5%. In fact, I'm going to put here a chart so you can see a year to date chart. The NASDAQ 100 is down about 23% year to date, but these stocks are down 20, more than 20%. You've got Netflix down 70% year to date, Okta down 58%, Peloton down 48%, PayPal down 57%, guys. And if I, my quick count was correct, only 13 of those stocks are positive. Uh, out of oh, that that's 100 that's for good. this that's year. Good. That's good. Yeah, like um, that. Let's talk about meme stocks for a moment. We haven't talked about them in a while, Inez. Oh, yeah, yeah. And all of the retail traders who got into those stocks, I, I'm afraid to ask how they're doing. Yeah, so Morgan Stanley came out with a note about this. And in fact, I'm going to pull up the meme chart so we can see here uh, where we're at with them. This is a year to date, but let's put up on an intraday right now. So these are the meme stocks that are meme stocks or have been meme stocks in the past. You've got the flagship ones, which are GME and AMC. And Morgan Stanley came out with a note saying that basically the amateur investors that came in when the lockdown started, when you started to see the stimulus money, that those investors have, uh, those day traders or traders have uh, lost basically their gains uh, since uh, they started trading. So we are looking at year to date. I'm going to show you where we're at with these meme stocks. But over the last six months, a lot of these stocks had reached their highs in 2021, and they are down significantly uh, from those highs. And you can see AMC down 67 percent over the last six months, GME down 48 percent, still though above $100 a share. So GME has actually held up uh, more than what us. Some people would have thought Palantir down 70 percent, Space down 69 percent over the last six months. Basically, the bottom line is that a lot of these amateur investors, when they started getting into the stock market, they didn't really they they've never been through Fed tightening Mm. cycles. So uh, they saw the easy money the Fed easy money, the pumping into, of liquidity into the markets. And so they're not used to uh, now the tightening that's coming. All right. Insert wow Shiba Inu meme right yeah. now. All right. Oof. Yahoo Finance's own Inez Ferre. Thanks so much for breaking that all down, Inez.